So with the gear door fixed, all that was left was getting on the road out to Texas. So the big issue for this day in Florida was this big front coming in off the Gulf that was going to effectively cut off the peninsula of Florida from the rest of the country uh, as far as weather goes. So uh, that whole morning while we're fixing the uh, tailwheel gear door, uh, I'm watching the weather to look at whether or not there's enough of a hole left to squeak around that front and get up into Georgia uh, before the, the before the front had had landed. One of the interesting balance points on a program like this is, uh, you know, obviously um, number one priority is not to put the aircraft in undue risk, but also, um, you know, if you just decide to scrub uh, and, and sit uh, on the charge number, you know, go back to the hotel and wait uh, for the weather to clear, um, that might be harder to explain to a customer than I took off, headed down range, decided I didn't like the weather and came back. Uh, so in that, in that way, you're sort of um, uh, mo motivated uh, to take a stab at it. So that's what we did. All right. Well, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Have a safe flight. I hope we get to work together again in the future. Yes, I'm sure we will. Send me a message when you land so I know you made it. I will. See you later. Kilo. Take a run with 3 0, be orbiting 10,000 over the field. Land traffic, open the traffic, advisory. 5 in the pattern, using 3 0. And you said there's 5 in the pattern, right? Yes, ma'am. Land traffic, 543, Echo Romeo, taxiing runway 830 via Delta. 198, short final 30. Land traffic, Chris Fowler, 307 Echo Romeo, going to be lining up and running runway 30. Taking off 30, going to be proceeding southbound. And it's going to be a lot of radio call. Come on, Jeff, we're going to start crossing 1-2-3-0-1-0. So I took off uh, as scheduled, climbed up to uh, the 12,000 feet we had been planning on doing all of our cross countries for this, this uh, ferry and headed down range. Very quickly I was uh, VFR on top, uh, sitting on top of that low level ground fog cloud stuff that is common in this part of the country and this, this time of year. Uh, and very quickly I was very nervous, right? So we, we, we were just finished talking about all the risks with the uh, firewall forward, with the electrical system, etc. And being VFR on top, you're sort of committed in an unusual way. So basically as soon as that happened, as soon as it closed up below me, I was really looking for an excuse to, to turn back. Uh, eventually I got a couple sp uh, spackles of, uh, of rain on the windscreen and, and that's just what I did. I turned around and headed back for DeLand. As luck would have it, uh, calling up on ATC, DeLand by this time had become socked in. So I was going to have to find somewhere else to go and uh, luckily there was a couple airports directly below me at this point that, uh, that were available. And I landed the Thunder uh, expecting to be very quickly overrun with rain and, and be spending my uh, first night of the ferry not far from DeLand uh, away from Friendly, sort of in this uh, worst case scenario that we had talked about. And very quickly, uh, you know, all that, that training, all that planning that we had talked about uh, came into fruition. So can we find somebody on the airport that's friendly fast enough before the weather shows up? Uh, can we get a hang? Uh, if we get a hangar, is it some? Is it better to be in the hangar uh, where the airplane's not necessarily totally under control? Someone else holds a lock to the key, to the hangar, or to be outside in the rain? Um, and it was a great little microcosm. Uh, it ended up that the uh, I called Quentin. He said that the weather at Deland had cleared. The uh, rain hadn't yet got in, uh, so it was. Uh, I just took off and flew back to DeLand and spent the night in DeLand, but it was a great little microcosm of what was coming uh, as we work our way uh, downrange on this trip. So one of the things you pick up on real quick when you take the Long Nose Thunder uh, cross country is the attention that it draws. So uh, you can see as soon as I landed at uh, Patelka Airport, uh, people gathered around the airplane. What I didn't realize till later is that that's a really critical moment, right? So the, the airplane shows up with a lot of pizzazz, it sort of pulls people out of the woodwork and that allows you to sort of source out who's the uh, the people on the field that are you know most valuable for what it is you're trying to do and uh, the trick is to figure that out quick before they lose interest in the airplane and go back to whatever it is they're doing at the airport that day. 